Hello, Cosmic Family. It is good to connect with you today. For those of you who are new here, hello. I am Charlie Wilde, and I help humans uplift, ascend, and find their purpose here on planet Earth. And in today's video and message, I wanted to share with you not just words, but a vibrational space where all of us, all of us can transform any fear that we have ever felt into faith. Have you ever in your life been through something, a life situation? Maybe it wasn't even that difficult, but maybe it seemed insurmountable to some. And in that, maybe your thoughts or maybe the thoughts of others projected on you were of fear, of discouragement. And in those moments, when these thoughts come forth or when someone else is projecting these thoughts on us, it's very easy to listen and want to absorb it and interpret it as truth. But it is very, very important to realize something that you probably already know and to really remember it. Is that Source has graced us with a spirit. Whenever I'm channeling, this is something that always comes forth, that Seven always speaks about, which is, hey, you are a spirit and your spirit connected to source is strong, empowered, and expansive. And so in moments when someone might be projecting thoughts of fear, ideas, fearful ideas, we might be in a place where we'd want to accept it as a form of truth. But whenever you feel this, which is why it's so important to always be attuned to our feelings, is that you can say no. You can say, no, I do not accept that. That is not my truth. Sometimes, some of us have been trained in environments where there was a lot of fear and discouragement and so our ego was shaped in this way. It was shaped to accept the fear as face value without it being questioned. But I invite you, as I'm sure you already have done this, to always, always practice this. It is all right to become aware of feelings of fear that you might have within you, but it's also all right to remember that you can say, you know what, I appreciate you being there, but I choose source perspective, I choose spirit perspective, and the spirit is always leading me to faith. Spirit always leads me to faith. When we are in a state of faith, our vibration naturally increases. We don't have to sit there and think, let me think better thoughts, let me think better thoughts. Oh, what's the next better thought? Even though that's a good exercise, sometimes all we need is to breathe deep and say, I choose faith. Someone else's idea of fear, someone else's truth that might be based in fear is not mine. Because when I am connected to spirit and I'm connected to source and my faith is strong, my vibration lifts up. And when my vibration lifts up, my reality shifts. And miracles are possible.
Sometimes, though, we look around and we say, give me a sign, Source. Give me a sign right now, Source God. Give me a sign right now, please. Give me five signs. But sometimes we don't need any signs. Sometimes all we need is to remember that when we are connected to spirit, the faith is strong. When our faith is strong, nothing can get to us. Now, there are times when, of course, this seems easier said than done. And in these times, it is not necessary to speak more, to pray more, to beg for more. In these times, our breath and our faith is all that matters. So, if you are experiencing any fear right now, or at some point you catch yourself experiencing fear, remember that it's simply a feeling. And when someone else is projecting fear onto you, you can choose not to accept it. You can choose to say, no, that's all right. I choose to recognize my faith, even in the face of fear. And then something incredible happens. Your fear becomes fuel for your faith. Your fear becomes fuel for your faith. And your faith expands and it becomes stronger. And in this process, your mind becomes more empowered, more disciplined, more clear. And reality begins to shift. This message that I share with you is not a message that is coming from a mind, it is coming from the heart, it is coming from practice. It is coming from the living of life, a physical life here on planet Earth, which as we all know is not perfect. And that is precisely why we chose to come here. Because we understood as spirits that being on this planet allows us to experience, to create and co-create and to transform in such incredible ways that we transcend space and time. Oftentimes, this transformation is not quite visible because we're more focused in looking out there, the physical world out there, for the signs. We trick ourselves into believing all kinds of stuff just, just so that we can escape from the inescapable, which is the truest form that we are in, which is spirit. And when we cannot escape anymore, that is when we often find the pure form of spirit. And why do I mean the pure form of spirit? The pure form of spirit is not some intellectual idea that we have of spirit. It's not just a sensory experience of spirit. It is a living in spirit. It is something that can only truly be experienced beyond just sound, 
taste, smell, touch. It is something that sometimes is inexplicable. And many throughout human existence, even our dear Pleiadian friends, are always explaining to us and sharing messages with us. And so many different master teachers all throughout time, in one way or another, have shared with us what it is like to be the spirit and to be the spirit while also having a physical experience. But there's no separation. Fear in many ways feels like this separation, feels like this sword that's keeping us from our well being. And when we connect with spirit, when we recognize our faith and we live in our faith, that fear catalyzes, alchemizes. It turns into fuel for this faith. That's when in these moments our vision expands. Our sixth sense, the vision beyond the physical eyes, messages start pouring in, messages from source. Recognize that you've got faith. Faith is not something you've got to work for. It is not a reward at the end of the journey. It is available to you right here, right now. Right here, right now. Thank you, Cosmic Family. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your love. It's made an incredible difference. An incredible difference. It's been incredibly empowering. So thank you. Thank you to all of you, Spirit Masters. I see you. I feel you. I hear you. I appreciate you and I love you, and I love to connect with you. If you believe that someone needs to hear this message or any other messages shared here, feel free to spread the word. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe, like this video. As I mentioned before, there's some powerful announcements coming up, so make sure to stay tuned. It is an incredible time on planet Earth. And we all are witnesses to it. We're all participating in it. We all have chosen this time and space. Not so that we could be passive players and pursue just physical comforts. We came here specifically so that we could carry out spiritual missions. All right? Spiritual purposes. And I already know that so many of you are already living those purposes. You are. And it feels good to be on purpose. It feels good to be on the path. Even if at times we are challenged. Even if at times we feel that maybe fear will win. It is in those times when our faith becomes greater. Thank you. And I also wanted to thank Jenny, Jenny Hong, for this incredible bowl that she gifted to me before starting this new um, leg of travel. So thank you, Jenny. Um, it's been really, really wonderful to have this. Have faith. <laughs>